I would think first of the Dasgupta review, which we can uh, compare to the Stern review that was released in 2006. It's like the first of its kind report that directly link biodiversity issues with economic issues. The second one is the TNFD, the Task Force on Nature Related Financial Disclosure. And we certainly are quite mature on climate, but climate doesn't encompass all the issues linked to nature and we need to better address those risks. The last one is COP15 that took place in October in Kunming in China, which is actually a very promising uh, conference of the parties dedicated to biodiversity. We do have a lot of data for financial institutions. There's no way we can pick up so many different data. We need to find a way to streamline them so that they can be easily embedded into our system. Second one is financing massification. Most of the financing so far that have been allocated to biodiversity and um, natural capital come from the public sector. And the third one, which is linked to the two first one, is regulation. We need more regulation to actually help stop certain kind of activities. The very promising one is the voluntary carbon market. We have seen a lot of voluntary carbon credits being exchanged uh, uh, or bought for the last five to ten years. Thing is that never developed at scale. And now, with the task force on scaling the voluntary carbon market, we are actually now setting the right governance and the right core carbon principles to allocate capital toward high quality carbon credits. That's actually potentially a great way to reallocate capital toward restoration and protection of natural capital. Mm -hmm.